is a marine biologist who has spent his life studying corals. More and more, his focus has been on climate change and the impact it will have on the world's reefs. But before I see how climate change will affect them, Ove wants to show me what's at stake. What greets me under the surface of the water blows my mind. The Great Barrier Reef is one of the seven natural wonders of the world, and I can see why. And when I look closer, I see that reefs are supporting all of this life, providing food, shelter, and places to hide from predators. I'm realizing how interconnected everything is. Though they make up less than 1% of the ocean floor, reefs support a quarter of all marine species. If climate change will alter the reefs, is all this life under threat? We're seeing a change in the chemistry of the ocean that has no parallel in 65 million years, if not 300 million years. That's the last time it changed this quickly. Ove explains to me that we've pumped more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere than there's ever been in human history. Scientists knew that this added CO2 was warming the oceans along with the rest of the planet. But what they only recently discovered was that about a third of it ends up in the ocean. There, it combines with seawater to create a dilute acid. And here's the truly shocking part. Today's ocean is already 30% more acidic than it was before the Industrial Revolution. And here's right. the kicker. It takes 10,000 years or more to reverse the changes that we've made already. That's the it's size. It's astonishing number. It's astonishing, isn't it? Yeah. You're looking at an experiment we've been running over the last 12 months, and this experiment has been exposing uh, parts of coral reefs to uh, warmer and more acidic oceans. In this tank, we've just changed the acidity levels, adding CO2 to the water. The scientists working on this project have discovered that although they look well, when you actually look at the process of which they build their skeletons, and they've almost got a form of osteoporosis. Right. Now that's important because um, if you have a storm come through, these corals are gonna break more easily. And so when you look at this next tank, now exposed to 12 months of four degrees Celsius above um, where it is today. And what you see here is that uh, most of the corals are dead. Any coral that survived is bleached. You can it's see that. It's dramatic, yeah. frankly. Ove tells me that coral is actually an animal, and that inside its tissue, there are tiny brown algal-like organisms that provide up to 90% of the coral's energy. When the water gets too warm, the coral expels these organisms, becoming a ghostly white. That's bleaching. So we've changed the acidity, changed the temperature, but what happens when we change both? Oh my god. This, to me, looks like death. Truly shocking. The stuff that we're not seeing is not that you didn't put it in here, it's that it's dissolved. It's gone. It's gone. And it's this. Gonna... Yep, it's sand. And that's the future we're on right now. Keep pumping CO2 into the atmosphere. This is what we're going to get. What I see next makes me realize how close this threat is. Footage coming in from the northern sections of the Great Barrier Reef shows widespread bleaching already underway. That's, that is, um, that is far worse than I thought it was. In some regions, parts of the reef have already died and been taken over by the slime that Ove showed me in his future scenario tanks. One of the seven natural wonders of the world is disappearing before our eyes, and with it, the support system for millions of sea creatures. Up to this bleaching event, mm -hmm. how much of the world's corals were lost? In the Caribbean, uh, it's very clear that we have lost probably 80% of corals since the 1970s. 
Um, Hold on. 80% of the corals in the Caribbean are already gone? That's right. I think you can safely say that we've probably lost 40 to 50% of corals across the planet in the last 50 years. Yeah. Within 20 or 30 years time, you don't have coral anymore. If we just continue as we're going right now, mm. coral reefs will cease to exist by mid-century of this century. Yep, 35 years from now.